This question looks fun to solve. Given are two semicircles such that their diameters are perpendicular to each other. This length here, this is equals to the radius of this small brown semicircle. The end points of the semicircles are joined by a straight line and this length of red line segment is 2 cm. Exciting part is with this limited data, we have to find radius of this blue semicircle. Let's check this elegant solution. Here the semicircles, let's assume they are touching each other at point G. Now any geometric question where two circles are there touching each other internally or externally. The theorem that the circles, centers and point of contact, they lie in a straight line will always be used. So let's start by joining this point O, G and P. Now let's assume for blue semicircle the radius is capital R and thus OG length that will also be capital R. For brown semicircle the radius is small r and it's given in question BC length that will be same small r. GP is the radius so it's small r. Now in this yellow triangle it's right angle triangle applying Pythagoras theorem so we'll get r square plus 2 r square is r plus r square. Simplifying LHS, it's R square plus 4 R square and in RHS applying A plus B whole square identity. Now both the side capital R square will get cancelled down. Simplifying it will get 3 R square is 2 times of RR. Small r will get cancelled and will get the relation 3 times of small r is equals to 2 times of capital R. Now if you look carefully, so this BD length is nothing but 3 times of small r. So we can say BD length from this observation that BD length is also 2 times of capital R. Now AB is also 2 times of capital R. So triangle ABD it's an isosceles triangle. So this angle opposite to the equal side will also be equal. So angle A and angle D will be equal. And it's a right angle triangle, so each of these angles will be 45 degrees. Now let's join OE here. Now OE is the radius of blue semicircle, so it's capital R. Again AOE is an isosceles triangle, so this angle will be same as angle A or 45 degree. By angle sum property, this angle will be 90 degree. In this right angle triangle AOE, Applying Pythagoras theorem, we'll get AE length as root 2 times of R. Same logic, if you look here, let's join FP here. Now this is radius of brown semicircle, so small r. Now FPD, it's an isosceles triangle. So equal sides have got equal angle opposite to them. So this angle is 45 degree. By angle sum property, this angle is 90. And in this right angle triangle FPD, applying Pythagoras theorem, will get FD, hypotenuse, as root 2 times of small r. Now again, in this big triangle ABD, so in this big right angle triangle, applying Pythagoras theorem, will get 2 times of capital R square plus 3 times of small r square, that's equals to root 2 times of capital R plus 2 plus root 2 R whole square. Now left side 3 R we can replace with 2 times of capital R and right side this small r will replace with 2 by 3 times of capital R. Now LHS that will be 2 times of 2 R square and RHS simplifying it so root 2 R plus root 2 times of 2 by 3 r that's nothing but 5 root 2 by 3 r. Now both the side taking square root so left side that will be root 2 times of 2 r and right side the square and square root will get cancelled down. Now taking everything with capital R on the LHS so we'll get your LHS will be root 2 by 3 times of capital R is 2. Simplifying it, we'll get capital R is 2 times of 3 by root 2, that is 3 root 2 centimeter.
and that's our answer i hope you enjoyed the solution i will see you in next video till then tata bye bye